Meantime, here in New England, shipments of the Pfizer vaccine continue to come in, including at Women and Infants and Kent Hospitals. And that's where we find Brandon Truitt. Brandon? Hey guys, good afternoon. This is actually really cool. We're in Kent Hospital now, where the first vaccine was just given out here a few seconds ago. I want to take you in. You can see the president of the hospital is just finishing getting his vaccine. Said he didn't feel anything, so that's certainly the good news. As we uh, are starting to see these vaccination efforts really ramp up at hospitals statewide. It's incredibly exciting. The head of a leading healthcare provider in Rhode Island getting vaccinated himself today, aiming to set an example for his staff and patients. If he can get it, you can too. This has been pretty important for everybody in this region, especially here. So people are excited as hell. So I think, again, it's like Christmas morning, waking up, the Christmas tree has this big gift. That gift rolling in this morning, this video from Care New England showing the first of about 5,000 initial doses arriving to Women and Infants Hospital. Delivered by FedEx, they're signed for, then brought inside. Stored away at those below subarctic temperatures, the logistics time to the second. I'm feeling really fortunate to be in this first wave. Dr. Nina Ayala works in the maternal fetal medicine division. She's a new mother herself, giving birth to a boy in June. I feel really um, proud to be able to help protect myself and help protect him. One by one, they came in, those at the forefront of the fight against this virus, each seemingly anxious to get vaccinated. But the doctors here say they know that's not the case for everyone. And that's part of why they're here. When you are in healthcare leadership, it's important for us to not just uh, talk the talk, but walk the walk. And so when I was asked if I would be willing to get the vaccine first, uh, one of the first people in the state of Rhode Island, it was a no brainer for me. So Care New England says that they're vaccinating a few dozen people today. You can kind of see it as a trial run as that process we talked about is so tedious as to how to handle this vaccination. Guys, tomorrow, the efforts here are really going to start ramping up. So, Brandon, again, we can see those vaccinations happening mm -hmm. live behind you right now. Uh, walk us through the process that's happening there. Yeah, guys, let's bring you into it. You can see the second person is up now to get vaccinated. They uh, just got theirs, in fact. But you can see what is laid out here on the table. It's pretty straightforward. I've heard several medical professionals talking about it's very similar to getting the flu shot in terms of what it feels like. Uh, the real delicate dance has to be in the timing of those vaccines, how it moves from freezer to storage and then ultimately administered here. This is what we have been seeing again at uh, Women and Infants this morning. We saw it at Lifespan yesterday um, as these vaccines vaccination efforts really across the state for these frontline workers, the people who have seen the worst of this virus up close and personal. Uh, so relief certainly on the way uh, starting this week, guys. All right, Brandon Truett, thanks so much.